All right, today I'm going to show you how to connect to Greenhouse and get your job data into Google Sheets using the Coefficient add-on. Keep in mind this also works in Microsoft Excel. If you do not have the Coefficient add-on, go to Extensions, Add-ons, Get Add-ons, and then search for Coefficient in the Add-on Store. Once you have it installed, click on Extensions, Coefficient, and Launch to launch the Coefficient add-on. Once you have it launched, we'll go ahead and click on Import From, and then we just want to find Greenhouse under Suggested or All Sources. So if you do not see it under Suggested Sources, scroll down to See All Sources, and then you'll find it in alphabetical order. Once you get to Greenhouse, click on Connect. So what we need to connect to Greenhouse is what's called an API key to authorize the data connection. So there are some instructions here. We're also going to quickly run through it as well. So we're going to go ahead and go into Greenhouse. We're going to click on the settings or configure icon on the upper right. And then we're going to click on Dev Center and API Credentials. Once we're here, we're going to create a new API key. And what we want to do here is make sure we select Harvest API Type. And then for Partner, we're just going to type in Custom. And then under Description, this can be whatever you like. So we can just call it Greenhouse Connection or Google Sheets Connection or whatever you want here. Once you're done, go ahead and click on Manage Permissions. And so here is our API key. So we'll go ahead and click on Copy. And then we can actually go back here and paste this here. Now we do have one more step before this connection will work. So once we have stored the API key, the last thing we need to do is select the permissions that we want to assign to this connection. If we do not do this, then it's not going to work. So the quickest is just to click on select all here. and will select all these permissions. Now one thing to keep in mind is this will allow the connection to technically update. So for example, here we have permissions are delete, patch, post, and put. And so get is basically a read-only permission, and it just gets the data. But delete would technically allow you to delete. So the safest is to only do get connections. But if you're not worried about it, you can go ahead and just do select all, and that will be fine. So we'll click save when we're done with the permissions. And once we have done that, then this connection will work. So we're going to go over here and click on connect using that API key that we just generated. Now we can click start from scratch. And here is our import preview window. And so we have different options that we can pull. So for example, we can pull the jobs that we have. You can also select if you want open, closed, or draft. You can also do other filters such as created after a certain date. It tells you the date format that it needs to be in. You can do opening ID, requisition, or department ID. So if we just want to do open jobs, for example, we can do preview, and we can see we have four open jobs. There's a job name and so forth. We can also go back and look at job offers, candidates, scorecards, applications, users, and so forth. So let's take a look at applications real quick. We'll click preview. And it does not have any for that. Go ahead and go back to candidates for example click on preview and then here we have a bunch of candidates so over here we can select the columns or the data that we want to return so if you want the application id if not you can uncheck it and it will get rid of it same thing with email company coordinator etc so you can select what data you want to you can select all of it quickly by clicking select all or deselect if you only want a few things for example if you want to get first and last name like that, you can quickly parse that data there. All right, so we're going to go ahead and click on Select All, and then we're going to Import. Once the data is finished importing, we'll see the option to Auto Refresh, and this can be done on an hourly, daily, or weekly basis. Otherwise, if you want to refresh manually or not at the moment, you can click Not Right Now. And so you can see the settings that we have over here on the right hand of the sidebar. You can get back to this by clicking on Open Sidebar here at the top, and then you can always refresh the data point, clicking this Refresh button at the top. All right, that is it for today. I hope that helps you see how quick and easy it is to connect to Greenhouse 
and other data sources using the coefficient add-on and bringing that data into Google Sheets or Microsoft Excel. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.